<laughs> and I'm playing Nirvana. <laughs> I wonder when the last time Ulysses played two and four was. <laughs> There's no way. Have you heard that song before? No. That is insane. Really? Oh, <laughs> that's why I f***ed all up. <laughs> so every, uh, every drummer that comes through, we have a tradition of giving them some music to learn. Okay. For anyone who doesn't know, you've been teaching at Juilliard School of Music for how many years? I've been teaching at Juilliard for seven years. And I teach, uh, I'm the small ensemble uh, director. So you're, uh, I guess you're primarily known as a jazz drummer. Yes. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna put you through the ringer here. <laughs> okay. And it's gonna be great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're gonna give you a song. Okay. We've taken the drums out. Okay. So you have complete freedom to come up with your own drum part, whatever you want. Okay. And then at the very end, we're gonna play you the original and you can see either how close you got. Okay. Or how, uh, how creative you got. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. <laughs> so are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here it is. Have you heard that song before? No. That is insane. Really? Oh, that's why I this all up. <laughs> I was saying uh, to the guys in here, I'm like, I wonder when the last time Ulysses played two and four was. <laughs> that was unreal. I fucked that all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know the song. What are some things you picked up on? In, that was the first time you've ever heard that. So the first thing I, I heard, it was like this halftime thing. So it was like the... That was like the first thing I heard. And then when it started driving, like the chorus, it was like... Bum, bum. So I was like, all right, it got it. And I know like, and, you know, I'm not a rock aficionado, but I know like in a lot of those songs, even when they're... They like fills kind of in the middle of that to like elevate it. So it's gotta be nice and big and like whatever. Um, but yeah, I could just I could really hear the difference between the halftime and kind of going into quote unquote double time driving feel. So if you had to do this again, now that you've heard it, are there things that you would change based on the first run through? I would acknowledge the halftime much sooner. Because at first, like, I could hear it, and then when the driving time came in, I was like, oh, shit. Like, so I would just immediately give way to that, you know, like, versus, like, kind of hinting at it at first. Nice. Do you want to give this a take, too? Sure. So we can hear some of that? Sure. I can't wait for you to hear the original. <laughs> oh, shit.
You're a beast. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in good fun, right? Yeah, I love it, man. I like this. How did that take two go compared to take one? I felt I felt much better um, in terms of just like, okay, it's three, you know, it's three verses, it's couple this many choruses. Like I kind of like when that guitar solo came up, I thought it was done. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, oh we got one more, you know. But it started to kind of like make sense. Like I could start to kind of like hear the form, you know. Well, are you ready to hear uh, the original? Sure. Before I play it, are you familiar with Dave Grohl? Yes. Okay. Dave Grohl on drums. Okay. The song is called In Bloom. Okay. By a band called Nirvana. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I know the I know the band names. Hey, that's uh, that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm playing Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. We kept the half time. Ah. <laughs> Wow, man. Cool. What do you think? Great song, man. He sounds great. You know, just solid groove. There's like the the classic like drum hook in that song. Yeah. It's like one of those classic like rock drum hooks. Oh, so, okay. And then in the chorus, those big triplet fills. Yeah. yeah. You started doing those, I think, on your... The end of the first pass. Okay. And then in your second take, you started working those into every chorus. Oh, So, like, man. you were picking up those things even though you didn't know they were in the wow. original. Like, for me, I can't unhear the original parts of that song, like, growing up on that yeah. record. And then to hear your approach to that, never having heard the drum part, yeah. is mind-blowing. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I know a little bit of rock. Like, I've checked out, you know, like, I love the band Incubus and stuff like that. But, you know, when I hear it, I hear it. Like, I just... I hear the song and the things that are built into how they're approaching it. Yeah. So. Well, next time we're going to get you a 26-inch kick drum. Yeah, right. I was like, I need big... Uh, like, like the funny thing is trying to lay into the 16. <laughs> <laughs> we're seeing, like, nice, like, feathered notes on the yeah. kick, and then every once in a while it, like, goes a little bit harder. <laughs> Maybe that was different from a lot of the stuff that you're used to doing. I, I, I mean, to be honest, it wasn't different. You know, like, I, I didn't know... I didn't know the tune, but that's the same as, like... I didn't know a big band tune, you know, because I grew up playing in church, so where I use my ears. So the same kind of mechanisms of using my ears to hear, you know, find the patterns, find the repetition, find the bass groove, like it's all, that's genreless. Like that goes across genres. It wasn't a different experience other than the fact that I just didn't know the tune. What's crazy though is like the fact that when you played it for me, the halftime thing that I was kind of hearing, but I was like on the fence about, that that was the vibe, the whole tune, that was interesting. Like the way Dave's playing it to me really is like a funk tune. He's just wide open with it. So I think that was hip to like hear a guy who was really playing some funk shit, but just with a rock tinge, <laughs> you know? Yeah, Dave's funky, man. I didn't realize how funky he was. What's up everybody? I hope you enjoyed watching me learn in bloom from uh, Nirvana, hearing it for the first time and playing it as well. Uh, catch you on the next video.